Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Points of Articulation. My name's David, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, I'm looking at the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron, Darth Vader's TIE Advanced, released in 2022. This is number 16 in the collection, and it was first seen in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Now, I know I go on and on, guys, so I'm going to get right to the review and cut the chatter today. For the dimensions of this beautiful-looking ship, we're looking at about 2 inches to 5 centimeters tall, and a tad over 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters long, so it's a nice size ship, and we will have size comparisons later on in the video. If you're new to my channel, what I normally like to do is go over the mold, show off all the key points, zoom in and show everybody all the hidden details and what we're really paying for. Then we're going to take a look at the figures, the paint, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. Alright, let's take a look at the mold. Just like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the item, and then we'll get a nice close-up look to see all those fine details. So let's begin with the main body. We have our pylons. Laser cannons, transparent steel viewport, cockpit hatch, looking dope, and yes, it does open. I'm going to go over all the gimmicks in just a few, guys. We have our aft section, which includes our ion engines, hyperdrive, and all that fun stuff. And yes, it does open. So, pretty cool. Nice callback to the action fleet there. Underneath, again, looking dope. And then we have a little gimmick here, which we're going to take a look at in just a few. Moving on, we do have our wings with our solar array panels or radiator panels, some supports, and also the wing brace slash power converter, which goes to the inside as well. Now, one cool thing about this TIE fighter is just like the normal Imperial TIE, the wings can come off. Now, you could glue these together so they stay. Or if you're a modifier or a customizer, do it up, make it look like it's blowing up, have some fun with it. You can see the interior of the wing looking good. I'm gonna take this part off. And then, what a quinky dink. Copyright crap. <laughs> Can't escape it. But very nice, very detailed, especially around this section here. Really cool. Now the wings coming off is a good thing for me as a reviewer because now I could show you all the hidden gems of detail here without being hindered by those concave wings. So let's look at the gimmicks real quick and then we'll have a close up view of all the awesome details on here. All right, real quick, let's look at the gimmicks on here. So first off, we have our cockpit opening this bad boy up. We have Darth Vader in there looking sharp. Now, down here we have a spring-loaded mechanism, which is very flush, which is good. Press that, and the pilot raises up, you know, high enough so that way you can grab the head. Of course, I have big fingers, so I can't, there we go. So that's really cool. Uh, the company also does something similar with their R2 units, which, if you're a fan of the action fleet, is a godsend. So you could shut that, and again, with this little button, very very strong but nice curve on here you know you really don't see the cut really it blends in very well from certain angles which is nice the final gimmick we have is this engine section which just put your fingernail underneath lift it up we have detailing underneath here which is nice and then look at that not really painted but beautiful looking i love all the little hoses and components nice job i think this came out awesome what do you guys think let me know in the comments below but that basically does it for all the gimmicks on here wow some nice gimmicks on here some callbacks to the old action fleet especially with that engine section well done so now let's get a closer look all right let's start off our close-up look looking at the solar array panel wings now, I'm only going to technically look at one since the mold is the same, except for the copyright stuff. So, let's begin. We have these beautiful panels right here, which, yeah, the paint's a little off on the edges, but keep in mind I'm very zoomed in. But the mold is what we're looking at. Looks like a waffle, and it looks amazing. Very good, 
very detailed. I think it came out nice and crisp. Beautiful mold on here. And look at the sides here. You can see there's little molding going right down the side, which is amazing. It's a little hard to see, but when the light hits it right, the plastic itself has this nice little design here. You can see it on the side right here, which is simply amazing. Lots of detail with this company. I mean, lots of detail. It might not look it because it's all like a flat gray, but fantastic. Here we have our panel again, looking beautiful. So, of course, we have our little doodads here and there on the wing, which is nice. We have our supports and wing brace, which when you look at that, it's all protruding out. You have some nice modules on there, looking very cool. More doodads coming down the sides, which is nice. And, of course, we have those beautiful panels, which look fantastic. Here's the bottom. very sharp so for the interior it's basically the same thing just with a different midsection but again beautifully detailed very nice good supports and then coming up to the midsection again looks a little blah but Mainly that's where the ship goes anyway, so nobody really sees this stuff. Here we have our copyright crap. And our wing brace slash power converter right there. Which, look at the depth of that. Beautifully detailed. It really is. We even have detailing on this section right here. Which looks fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. So that does it for the wings. So now let's take a look at the main body, the cockpit sphere, and just look at the detailing on here. Panel lines, little modules, we have our laser cannons. Very sharp. Actually have a little panel line going around the viewport. It's a little hard to see, but it is there. Nice touch. Very cool. Lots of little doodads on here. Little supports. And it goes all the way to the back where the engine is. Now, this does not have a black wash on it or any wash. And like I said with my last Imperial video, that's fine. You know, the Imperial Navy was pristine and clean. So this is looking sharp. Now, for the viewport. We have painted supports, and check this out. Look how recessed the windows are compared to the painted supports. That is great. I love that very much. Very nice, and very clean paint on this gray. Really cool. Of course, we have our laser cannons, which protrude out, which is nice. On the bottom of that sphere, we do have our gimmick, which is nicely molded. Now you push this, and our pilot can pop out a little bit so you can grab him better. But, you know, look how flush that is when it comes out. It's really cool. And I love the design on there. Moving on, we have our pylons, which have some nice little touches. We have some recesses here and beautiful line work for panels. Same for this side, looking good. The underneath section, lots of line work. I'm loving this thing very much. Now, this is something I wanna discuss. Of course, we have our angles and line work for the pylons themselves, but look here. At first glance, it looks like a little pipe and a hose and that's it. But if I turn it, there's detail in all over the place different little modules hoses little boxes here and there that is fantastic and it continues on this side they didn't even need to do all this but they did and i'm thankful for it it looks amazing 
Coming up to the top, we have these little doodads on each side. Looking pretty cool. On the top, more line work. Looking amazing. And then for the aft part of the pylon, same as the bottom, we have our little recess and line work. All in all, a fantastic job. Now, lastly, before we move on to the engine section, we have our cockpit hatch, which has some nice glossy black for the windows. They're recessed in, as you can see, and just tons of detailing. So if I take this and I open it for you guys, you can see there's no detailing on the interior of the hatch, but there's a lot of detailing for the interior of the cockpit itself. So let me get my camera organized and we'll get in there. All right, get in as close as I can with as much light as I can. This is the interior of the cockpit. You can see some detailing, not just on the chair, but take a look in the aft. All the beautiful consoles and hoses and detailing. Simply amazing. Hopefully everybody can see all that. For the chair itself, it's beautifully detailed. And then we have this little section here, which is the gimmick to push the pilot out, which is a nice touch. Turning it around, we could see our, there we go, our control panels. Just really neat. Those look like two little handles there. Oh, a fantastic piece. It would be cool if they had uh, some sort of little stickers to go on all these panels. But it is what it is. And this way. Again, you can see the interior. Looking fantastic. All right, really cool. I know it's a little hard to see in there sometimes, so hopefully I did it justice. Now coming back to the engine section as I call it, we have some nice line work, little recesses with tons of modules. And to me, this is beautiful. Same for this side, just fantastic. And then we have our hyperdrive area, if you wanna call it that. And just look at all the detailing on here. Very beautiful. Coming to the back, they still did not skimp on the detailing. Nice little doodads here. These sections are for where the wings connect to the main body, so they're sort of blank, which rightfully so. So I'm not gonna hold that against it at all. And then for the underneath, here we have some more detailing. Again, beautifully done. center section amazing now let's take a moment and crack this bad boy open and you can see that they actually detailed the interior of the hatch with some nice line work they didn't even need to do that and then for the interior of the engine section look at all the hoses and pipes and modules or hyperdrive engine this looks beautiful now this area, I would have liked a little wash just for the interior to show off all this, but it is what it is. I think it looks amazing. Very cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What a fantastic looking ship. And that's everything I have to say about the mold. In short, this is a very detailed piece. Very beautiful, even though it may not look it. Now, we looked at the ship. So now let's take a quick moment to look at the figure before we start looking at the paint. And now looking at the figure that comes with this ship, we have the one and only Darth Vader. He stands about one inch or 2.5 centimeters. And for his paint, he has glossy black, silver, and matte black. And this guy is pretty cool. We can see all the detailing on there looking sharp. And his cape is a rubber material. As you can see, it bends, and that can actually come off. That way, he could actually go into his TIE Fighter. And you can see the detailing looks pretty cool. Turning it around. Just a 
Look at that. His control panel is nicely done. Pretty neat. Now, when looking at him without his cape, doesn't he sort of look like the Jedi armor that they had in the Clone Wars? Hmm. Pretty cool. And his helmet's nicely done as well. All the details are there, which is pretty cool. For articulation, his arms are able to spin all the way around, which is nice. And his legs can bend all the way that way, which is pretty cool. All in all, a nice minifigure. So I know some people want to see some size comparisons. So let me grab old Luke Skywalker here. Straighten him out. And you can see Darth Vader is just a little bit taller. Line up the boots. Hmm. Let's look at a TIE pilot. Let me get them lined up for you guys. Bingo. You can see Darth Vader is just a tad taller, which is pretty cool. All in all, it's a nice little figure, and I love the cape here. It sort of clips around his neck like so. Just press it. Get him situated. And yeah, he looks awesome. Pretty sick. And to get him in the TIE Fighter, just make sure you bend him at his hips. Get him in his chair like so. And just like that, you're good to go. And now looking at that paint on the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Darth Vader TIE Advanced, this bad boy has about five different colors. We have a main color of gray, dark gray mainly around a transparent steel viewport. Then we have red for the laser cannons, black for the solar array panel wings, and glossy black for the cockpit hatch. All in all, I think it's a great paint job. What do you guys think? Would you like this in a darker blue? or maybe a whitish color, or maybe have a black wash on there. Let it be known in the comments below. For a quick size comparison with the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Darth Vader's tie seen in the center, I have it next to some other Micro Galaxy Squadron vessels. First on the right hand side we have Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, Red 5. And then on the left hand side we have the Imperial TIE Fighter. I'm not gonna lie, these all look great together, are they exactly to scale? No but I feel like they work very well as a collection and I'm very happy to have these. As always, if you would like to see reviews of any of the ships I showcased today, check the links in the description below. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Darth Vader's TIE Advanced released in 2022. I like this thing, I think it's awesome. I think the mold is amazing, the paint is spectacular. It has paint where it needs it, and yes, when we're super zoomed in, it looks a little sloppy here and there. But when you have this in your hand, you're not that close and it looks fine. Like right now, the paint looks decent. It's good. You know, I'm really not worried about it. The only flaw I can find with this particular piece is that there's no stand, which is a shame. Uh, but looking at the ship itself, I think that the gimmicks on there, if we want to call them that, are fantastic. We have an opening cockpit. The bottom could be pushed up to get the pilot out so we can grab him or her better. And then the aft opens up to showcase an engine section, which is very reminiscent of the Action Fleet version, which is awesome. And that's everything I have to say about the Dark Lord's TIE Fighter today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you want to see new reviews every week, subscribe. Again, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.